thank you for staying. The recommendation one, one came from Uruguay to Bellbox, which is first visit from Uruguay to Bellbox, I think. And I hope we'll continue the friendship. Um, thank you for this uh, film. Um, uh, thank you for being here. Um, I will start with um, the. Uh, uh, so you're you're doing uh, um, everything, like uh, you you shot the film, you edited the film, you directed the film. Is that a statement? Is that what you always do, or is it just a case for this film? Uh, no, it's just all, always. Uh, yeah. So so. Um, um, is it because of uh, like uh, your vision, which needs to be like so precise, <laughs> or or I mean, what, what, why is this? Uh, I believe it's a form of like, uh, I don't know. I I I started to work with the camera a long time ago, and uh, when I start shoot the documentaries. It's more like it was easy for me to stand behind the camera. And so I keep on doing that. Um, and then I continue this cycle uh, effect uh, of working in editing myself. And it was kind of crazy because you are very low in the process. But uh, it has some logic for me because the, the writing of the film is still going on. Um, uh, I, I don't know, I find myself in the little room just well, and it works for me. And, um, instead of uh, start fighting with a editor all the time, I just call a friend sometimes and say, okay, come on, let's see the cut and destroy it. And, so I had the feedback also, but I do it all the way. Yeah, that's what I wanted to just uh, ask one more question related to that. So, uh, because I want to get um, people in the audience, or in general, closer to the way uh, your uh, like style of, of and, and, and these film essays you're creating are a bit different than the regular narrative cinema. So uh, when, when you when you when you start making a film, so with what you said, like the film continues to be written during the shooting and during the editing. So, for example, uh, what what was the initial point for this film? Like the, the initial starting point? Can you just elaborate? Uh, yes. Um, this film was kind of particular for me because. And in the, my past films, I was start like with an idea very clear, and, you know, just okay, I will shoot that, and I try to uh, get funded, and everything like everyone else. Uh, but in this case, I start uh, with the idea of just capturing the moment when an animal lost its savage state. Um, it was just that, um, without no more explanation. I knew this man for a long time, so I had material from shoot from him for many years, so I started to work with that. And um, without, without, without fully understanding what, what it was about. Um, and then uh, I started to understand that, well, I, will, I, I want to talk about violence mm. because. For me, there's a lot of violence in, 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 in capturing the savage of an animal. Uh, and um, I make a link with the other story. Mm. And, and I have the impression that these two stories could work together. But I didn't know why or how. So I follow that trail. And, and well, Leads me to here, to, but until the in um, advanced uh, stage of, of editing, I, I couldn't I put some. I put them in there in that moment some ideas together. So uh, it was kind of an experience, and I followed the instinct, my instinct in 
a lot of stages filming because I don't know we, we, we just make like a very small narrative an idea like okay these guys are in a limbo and, and, and everything is dead and this is the point of view of a ghost and we start to work on that idea in Nagasaki so we, we try to you know just take off the the human relationship around and uh, well I don't know it's was that was the process mostly. And and um, also your relation to uh, time in film in con in comparison to time to to like time in everyday life. Mm -hmm. So you, uh, there are some parts of the film, especially the last part with the with, with the horses which are uh, which is uh, shot and of course I mean shot edited and, and in the film it's uh, 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 almost like a real time uh, continuum. So there is a, a, a I, I see also a lot of like uh, how, should, how should I say like you you let time to to pass yeah. in film. So could you just make a comment about this? Uh, film time and time in everyday life. Well, we could talk about this for last month. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> ten more minutes. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. You have to feel it. Uh, um, um, in, in the case of the second part, uh, I was sh shooting in sixteen millimeters with a very few material and unique moments so it was kind of very very weird exercise just you know just look at your small team and say okay we have to be focused and we have to uh, capture what we need so it's like a trance you know when you're shooting that and you have to uh, push the button of the film the moment you feel it is you couldn't, it's hard to explain, but uh, the idea of the second part was mostly uh, you have to feel what is happening, you know, it's not that in, in the relationship with the, the first part, mm. it has a more intellectual approach. Mm. Uh, the idea was to put in relation these, these two energies, you know, something you comprehend and you understand and you can fully okay there was a war here um, there's a lot of shit happening okay and war is bad and people are there with other experience about you know just feel what is happening uh, i don't know if, uh, that's what the whole idea so time there is is fundamental to you know just try to capture uh, the, the feeling of what's happening it's not okay let's tell a story and uh, one shot and yeah uh, so i don't know i, I feel that way do you have some comments questions like it don't like it Pitania. Did, did you have the When you start working, you have the, as you know, this is start, this is middle, and this is my end. Mm -hmm. I want to tell this story. Because I, the, one, the, the first part is the black and white, which is not the truth. Now, the second part is color. Why? Yeah, a difference in yes. Uh, well, the idea is to just take some reality of the film. You know, just uh, we want to make a tale. Um, documentary is very realistic sometimes, and the relationship you have with the characters is very direct. So the whole idea was to okay this try to push these boundaries and try to break this relationship. So we, we start to take 
some kind of this, you know, sh texture. Um, so it came in black and white. Um, and the whole uh, idea was the whole fi film was meant to be black and white. But then, when we shoot uh, in, in film, um, the material came. We realized that in the second part we need the opposite. We need to you to be closer to, to what's happening. So we turn the color around there, and um, that's why for me are are two different times that are related for an, in, in the middle of a mist transition. You know that limbo that you takes you to one story to another. Um, I, I don't know. That's the explanation. I can't tell you. It's okay. Okay, thank you. So it means that you didn't have the synopsis. I want this, 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 and this. And if something happened in the middle? Uh, no, no. No, no it, it, it always just... were two ideas just in front, uh, one to each other, and just fighting and try to make a sense. Just shooting. Yes, shooting with it, yes. And, and um, until an advanced stage, we didn't know if it would work. Well, for me it worked. Uh, I don't know, maybe for some of you don't, but uh, uh, 